That looks so weird. So I'm in this one area. Oh yeah, I did. See so yeah, it? Yeah. I tried. But most of the time, well here's the thing, I didn't go in with the trailer. And I would just run into a bunch of the jets and blow them up. What? Yeah. Well, it depends on what cab you get. Dude, it's so foggy. Is it foggy in your session? Mine is like, you can't, I can barely see right in front of me. Dude, you can't even see in first person in mine. Like, you know how when you get to the bridge that leads to the military base, you can see the tunnel from right when you get on it? You can't even see the tunnel from when you get on it. How fast am I going? I'm going pretty fast, actually. How are you going to get it up it though? Cargo Bob? It's, yeah, like, and it looks, everything looks black and white and terrible graphics, right? It feels like a horror movie, right? It feels like, you know what it reminds me of? Among the, Among the, uh, um, Among the Sleep, or whatever it was called. Yeah, it reminds me of that, because of how, like, you know how when you get to certain parts, it's like, the graphics become terrible and it becomes worse. You know how, like, you get to certain parts, it gets, like, really foggy and the graphics become terrible. That's what it reminds me of. I love it. But it, I love that game. I had it. Yeah. It's actually kind of fun. Yeah. It's free to download, though. No. I'm, want, I'm going to. I bet the, I bet I'm going to. I'll pay this game. Okay. I'm still waiting to get my glasses, though. Remember how I, did I tell you that I lost my glasses? Yeah, I was on my, well, I didn't really lose them. You know how when you, um, so, I was flying back to New Hampshire, and I stopped, and I stopped at Indianapolis, so I could, um, get something to eat. Oh, we stopped there for, like, a layover, and I stayed on the same plane. So they said, if you want, you can move around, move your stuff to a different seat. So I moved my stuff forward a little bit to a different seat. With my glasses in a pouch in front of it, they said, if you put your stuff there, the clean crew won't take it, anything. So, I go to get um, a sandwich from a place in Indianapolis, because what happens? I come back, and I was going to read something, I forgot what it was. I think I was going to look at my Skyrim book. And I looked, and I was like, wait, where are my glasses? No, cleanup crew. Cleanup crew. You know what that is, right? They have them. They had it. So they took them by accident. All right, Chief. Yeah, I'm okay, Chief. I don't know. Can't put any liveries on it. What color should I spray it? Can't afford any chrome. They did. I say, do deliveries go with, do deliveries go with the color of your trailer too? Yeah, certain ones do. Yeah, like the Eagle Claw one does. That one looks, really? Oh, dude, I can't upgrade my engine anymore. It's too expensive. I can upgrade my armor a little bit. Got transmission, no. Wait, do I have bulletproof tires? No, I don't, but I can't afford them. What to do, though? On your trailer? How? So I need the command center bay to get it. Hope they try and stop you. Should be funny. <laughs> no, it says command center bay. How much is that? 
I'm just going to bait two for this. I need to go to bait one real quick. 320,000? I've been watching some videos. Command like center. Got some untapped potential in this here truck. Dude, for me to be able to change my my cab to the Phantom, it costs seven hundred thirty-five thousand. Even though this one is a lot better, I'm gonna change the interior. Do I change my interior color? But I can't. Not right now. I'm looking at something real quick. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Huh. Got plans for her, huh? Trailer. I don't know what to do. Ooh, that changes in the right race rate. Right? Cost 12,000. Ooh, that actually kind of looks nice. Oh, metals. You do? Nice. Metallic. No. That's amazing. Hey Jacob, I got a question for you. Um oh I can't afford that. Never mind. Actually I know exactly what I'm putting on this. Yeah, that looks nice. So my secondary color for my mock trailer, the trailer part, is chrome. Which means the little, um, like the bars on it are chrome. Well, I just thought of something, Jacob. What if they added a working camper? Like one with slides and all that? Wait, dude, I'm not even in your session. How many people are in your session? So when, I think mine's a... I think mine is a... I think mine's a, a solo public. Yeah, it is, I think so. There's no one else in it. Yeah. No. I think so. Well, we, weren't we going to do mock missions anyway? So I just want to know if it's private, I think. Is it private or public? It says GTA Online, friend one. Join it then. Yeah, just join it. So, dude, as I was saying, what if they made it to where you do the, the camper? You know how campers have slides on them? You don't know what I mean? Like, if you find, like, a, like, a, um, a RV bus or something like that, it has those slides that come out. They have slides that come out on them. What if they added that into GTA and it has, like, a command center in it and all that? Oops. I accidentally disconnected my trailer. Oh my, they're all taking over. I can't get to my thing. You only want to move. Dang. Do they hate NPCs sometimes? They're so annoying because they always get in your way.
Yo, Jacob, guess what happened? Jacob, guess what just happened? So, there, so I was driving over a bridge and I actually hit the guardrail. And there was going over the Zancudo River. Almost went into it with the mock. No. Oh yeah. What if they added a mock horse in the game in Red Dead 2? Like they put a mock and it's like a um horse with like a giant Maybe. Or a boat. I was just think. Wait, are they gonna make it to where you can make your horse like, like a, like where they can build a little like horn on it, like a white horn or something? Or are they gonna make it to where if like you press the horn button for GTA 5, it um makes your horse neigh, like make a noise or something? This car really wants to get blown up apparently. It's, it's about to get, it's about to get its wish right now. There's that wish he wanted. Yep, there we go, he caught on fire. Huh? I am on the highway. It's unlocked. On to the city. I'm a trucker. I hate it when the GPS makes it tree get, can't get to certain areas with the mock. Or like a big truck. Like you have to go under like a really low bridge or something like that. It's so annoying. I'm gonna try to bring my mock to the top of the Chiliad. What would happen? I wouldn't work with the trailer if I had to do it with just a cabin. Just a cab. I just thought of something. They need to add drag races. Drag races. I can know those are. GTA, they need to add him. Cause that would make it more realistic, cause like, um, like, was. Yeah, but yeah, you have to go all the way back to the start. Are you at your office? Where are you at? I just got off. I'm right near your office. Huh? I like how your office is the only one that doesn't have a um, garage on it. Buy one then. We had six, dude, 60 car garages though. So you're saying we don't use your garage at your apartment? You don't use your clubhouse garage? Then how do you get your vehicles? How do you get your vehicles then? How do you get your vehicles? 
so you technically use your garage. Once you get further in the game, you're going to use them more and more. My mock just spun out. Why? Oh. I'm actually heading over to my garage with my mock right now. I bet my mock is stronger than yours. It's one of mock in my garage, in my parking lot, in my house. I always use my garage. Wait, did I just go up the wrong road? No, I did. I thought I did for a second. So wait, how am I going to get... I'll do that when I need to get out. You do? What? Why? Oh. I'm gonna but I wanna change out the vehicle on my mock somehow. What the heck are these people doing?